If for real this time, I will play the national anthem. Thank you very much, everybody. Once again, and on behalf of the Saylor family, we're standing out there. Thank you for coming out to the Bob Saylor Memorial. <laughs> As Gwen, get, Gwen and Riley get a little love tap to each other here as they're coming off the track. If you've been here in the years past, you probably have known Bob. He is, was one of the best people that was out here, always willing to help and did a lot of work out here for the Cart Club. And his presence is still felt here to this day. And in his honor, we are going to get one of the big, biggest shows we've ever had in history underway. In history. In history. We're going to get on a five-lap hot lap, se lap session here. Joseph Thomas on the pole, the 17, Riley Sailor 76 outside, and the Red Rocket number four, Ethan Moore, rounding out your field. As they go into three and four, Jesse Skalicki looks them over and waves the green flag, and we are racing. Joseph Thomas will be your leader here. Lap one, he slides up the track a little bit, opens the door for Ethan Moore in the four cart, who started dead last on the field. Ethan Moore moves into the lead. Riley Saylor now challenging Thomas for second place as we go through lap two. Ethan Moore starting to stretch the lead out there, but there's still a good battle out there for second place between Joseph Thomas, who slides up a little bit. And Riley Saylor in the 76 there, door to door as they go into three and four. Joseph Thomas looking like he's got a pretty loose looking card out there. Riley Saylor will move into second place. Ethan Moore stretching that lead out even more out there in the four cart. Riley Saylor trying to cut, trying to run him down as best as he can. That is the definition of loose. Joseph Thomas had that real hard hit last week, and he spins it out over, coming out of turn two. We're gonna get a, gonna get a caution. As they're already aligned up correctly, Jesse Skalicki looks them over, and waves the green flag, and we are back racing for a green-white checkered. Ethan Moore stretches it out, going into turn three, coming out of four for the white flag. One more lap to go. 
Riley Saylor and Joseph Thomas battling pretty good out there for second place, but your winner, the number four, Ethan Moore. Second place, Riley Saylor in the 76, and the 17, Joseph Thomas, will round out your field in... Flagman Jesse Skalicki looking over as they go through three and four right now. Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag and we are racing. Scott Saylor gets the whole shot. The 76, Luke Kozowski fighting back on the high side out there. But Scott Saylor will lead that lap. 323, Jay Holweger taking a look out there. Yes, looks like we have trouble for the 68. Yeah, we got them stacked up and off the track also. So your leader will be the 76 of Scott Saylor, Luke Kozowski in second place in the Ford G323, Jay Holweger in third, and Rick Thompson in fourth in the Ford T. Green flag back out, we're back racing. Luke Kozowski took a look inside of Scott Saylor on the start there. Who forgot to put his face mask back down. Hopefully he stays in the lead and he'll take a couple of rocks to the face. As it is still Sailor Kozowski, Holwiger now taking a look inside of Luke Kozowski. Those guys are teammates. And Rick Thompson in the green number four in fourth place. Any one of these guys can win right now. As Luke Kozowski takes a look to the high side. Jay Holwiger washed up coming out of four though, kind of impeded the progress. And now Kozowski looks inside going into turn three. Scott Sailor though still continuing in the lead. Jay Holweger trying to dust off the high line out there. As he continues to be in fourth place here, leader though still Scott Saylor. As Kozowski takes a look, contact out there. It looks like they might be hung up. And Scott Saylor spins it out. Gets spun out there in the front straightaway. We will get another caution. Thompson, the green four, in second place. 323 Jay Holweger in third, and Luke Pazowski, tail end Charlie in the 4G. And Jesse Skilicki waves the green flag. We are back racing here. Can Scott Saylor hold off the four out there? That's now the white flag, one lap to go. Jay Holweger making a move for second place. Little love tap coming out there, but coming out of turn four, your winner, Scott Saylor, did a little bit. Rick Thompson, second place. Jay Holweger in third in the 323, and Luke Kozowski, the 4G, in fourth place. 17. Oh, Steven gets crossed up on the start. And we'll get a yell and a restart. As we come through turns three and four right now, Jesse Skalicki looking him over, waves the green flag, and we are racing. Mike Gressef got a good jump out there as he powers through the inside of 211 and Ken Bjorn, a little bit of a love tap. We stay green. Steven Ader moving in a second place in the 29 cart. That's Mike Gresseth now opening up a pretty big lead. Yeah. 
At the line that time, it was Mike Gresson in the 17, Steve Nader 29, Ken Gordahl in the 211. Stevenator got a little high, got a little loose, but he keeps it straight and we stay green. A little loose coming off a of turn two right there as Ken Bjorndahl is now starting to catch up to the 29 of Stevenator. Mike Gresseth continues to be a leader. So now Bjorndahl putting a lot more pressure on the 29 cart. Mike Gresseth is now about a half a lap lead as Ken Darndahl goes high in turn four. White flag out for Mike Gresseth, one more lap to go. Steven Ader in second place, Ken Darndahl in third. Your winner coming to the line this time, 17, Mike Gresseth. And second place will go to the 29, Steven Ader. Ken Darndahl rounding out your field in the 211. 924 P Brady Plants inside row two. And Carson can set the 6K will be outside row two. The 80 of Andy Myers inside row three. And McCoy Ferguson will be the red number 88 out there. Six K and Kazette. He's a newer, new driver out there, so just put him in the back and get some experience first. That will move the 88 of McCoy Ferguson up one row, and we'll get them going here shortly. Coming out of turn four right now, Jesse Skalicki looking him over in the green flag waves and we are racing. Brady Plants taking a look inside, takes the lead going out of turns one and two. And he gets a great lead on the first lap. 24 feet, Brady Plants, your leader. Second place, Cody Matchart in the seven. The 80 of Andy Myers in third place. Olivia Mao in fourth in the 99. McCoy Ferguson in fifth of the 88. And rounding out the field right now, the 6K, Carson Kazed. Brady Plansell already laughing carts right there. As he leads here once again. Plants starting to pick up the pace there in the 24P. Now gets around the 88 of McCoy Ferguson. Now 99 of Olivia Mao. As we got a battle out there. Brady Plants tried to go high on the 99 of Olivia Mao. That opened the door. For the number seven of Cody Matchart. Now he Matchart leads. Brady Plants trying to run him down in the 24P. Matchart slides up the track a little bit. And now goes all the way down to the infield. And that now helps Brady take the lead in the 24P. Brady Plants comes, charges in the three, comes out of turn four for the white flag. One to go for the 24P at Brady Plants.
bottom of the line this time, your winner, number 24P, Brady Plants. Seventh place, in second place, number seven, Cody Matchart. The 80 of Andy Myers in third. Olivia Mao in fourth in the 99. McCoy Ferguson in the 88. Will be in fifth and sixth on the field with the six. Send them on their way. Gress F in the 19, Sub D in the 13. Is it going to turn three? Coming out of turn four, Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag. Cole Gresseth pulls out into the lead of the 19 cart as we got contact out there. Colin Subby goes around and we will get a yellow. And we'll reset the missing potter set in row two. And Bernardus in the 43, shotgun on the field. Jesse Sklicky waves the green flag. We are back racing. Cole Gresset gets a good jump out there again in the 19 cart. Colin Subdy is second place in the 13. Tate Magnuson trying to look on the high side there. We've got a good battle for fourth and fifth place between Dylan Bernardus in the 43 and Andrew Potter in the 88. Gresset leads that time by. It is Gresseth, Huffy, Subdy, Magnuson, Potter, and Bernardus. No change that time by. As now Gresseth is opening up over a straightaway lead on the pack. Tate Magnuson took a look on the inside, but that opened the door for the high side there. Andrew Potter. Slides up to the high side there. We still stay. Gresseth, Subdi, Magnuson, Potter, and Bernardus. As Cole Gresseth goes around in the back straightaway, and we'll get a caution. Green flag waves. We are back racing. Tate Magnuson took a look to the inside of Colin Subdy in the 13. Subdy holds him off, going into turn one. Andrew Potter trying to look at the high line, trying to build up some momentum out there. That's how Subdy slides up a little high. Magnuson took a look to the inside. Magnuson trying to dime in that line off, coming off the corner. And now Cole Gresseth makes a move on the high side up in the 19 over Dylan Bernardes in the 43. The white flag comes out for Collins. Subby one more time to go. Magnuson gets a little crossed up. And that'll open a bigger lead up there for the 13 of Subby. Coming to the line this time, your winner, number 13, Collins Subby. Take Magnuson to second place in the 24. Andrew Potter in third place in the 88. 43 junior Dylan Bernardes in fourth. And the 19, Nicole Gresseth rounding out your field in fifth place. Yeah. <laughs> We have issues out there in the 10 car trying to keep them running. This is the most work I've seen Patrick do in a long time. Or ever, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to need a cheeseburger after this race is over with.
that'll put the 24 of Jake Haldenberg on the pole outside Gwen Saylor in the 76. Grudge match time. Grudge match time. Oh, yeah. only two cards. Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag, and we are back racing once again. Jake Hogberg gets the whole shot in the 24. Gwen Saylor got a little loose coming out of turn two. We'll see if she can run down the 24 to Hogberg here. Change that time by as the 24 of Hogberg, still your leader, Gwen Saylor, giving everything she can to run down the 24 out there. As it is Hogberg and Saylor that time around. The gap starting to close up just a little bit though between the 76 and the 24. Hoggerberg continues to have about a two and a half cart length lead out there in the 24 as the laps keep winding down. Take three race out there in the front of the pack. Up two. Gwen Sailor trying everything she can to run him down. As she closes in on the back bumper of the 24 of Haugenberg, we get the white flag out one more time to go. Gwen Sailor takes a look. Welcome to the checkered flag, your winner, Jake Haugerberg. And second place, Gwen Saylor, the 76. Defrocki, the 77X, inside row three, outside Simon Mao in the seven. Riley Goodman in the 75, inside row four. And Keegan, Kaden Kazed in the 12 cart will start last in the order. Jesse Skalicki looks them over and waves the green flag, and we are racing. Keegan Hauser in the seven is your leader coming out of the corner, but Layla Eisenshank is not letting them get away. That's right now it is Hauser, Amelia Eisenshank. Or Layla Eisenshank, Amelia Eisenshank, and then the 77X Alexi Fromke trying to run them all down. Layla takes a look to the outside, trying to make a power move on the seven cart of Hauser. That opens the door for Amelia Eisenshank to take a look inside of her also. And Alexi Fromke now trying the high side. racing at the front of the pack out there. Layla Eisenshank trying to track down the seven of Keegan Hauser. So last keep winding down is Keegan Hauser, Layla Eisenshank, Amelia Eisenshank, Lexi Fromke, Simon Mao, Vince Noble, Riley Goodman, and Caden Kazed. Layla making a move to the high side out there. Gets a good run coming off of turn number four. But Hauser pulls ahead again in the seven cart. As 
Zalaski winding down right now. Hauser continues to be your leader in the seven cart. That's a white flag out this time for Keegan Hauser, number seven. Lap traffic might play into this here as we come into turn three and four. Layla Eisenshank tries a big move out there. Keegan Hauser will be your lead, your winner in the seven. With Layla Eisenshank, Amelia Eisenshank, Lexi Flomke, Simon Mao, Vince Noble, Riley Goodman, and Caden Kazed running out your field. out of a 72 out there, so we're going to give them a couple laps to make sure the track is safe for them to drive on. Olsen will be your pole leader, Colby Olsen, 11-0. And outside of him, Keaton Frankie in the 88 as they come down, 3-4, and four. Jesse Skalicki hooks him over. Green flag, we are underway. Door-to-door -door action up front between Olsen and Frankie as we got contact out there. Colton never tried to shoot that gap, but we'll get a caution. Colton in the green flag waves once again. We're back racing. Colby Olsen this time gets the whole shot in the 11. Brent comes out to the lead. A little bit of contact for second and third out there between Hagerberg and Frankie. But now Everett taking a look inside Colby Olsen, making a sick, and he might make, he'll make the pass going into turn three as we got contact between Keaton Frumpke and Jake Haugerberg goes around. Colton Everett will be your leader in the six as we come to the green flag coming around here this time by. He leads him through turn four, and we are back racing. Colton Everett stretches out the lead out there in the six cart. As Colby Olsen tries to run him down to the 11 0. Good battle for fifth place out there. Fourth and fifth. As now Keaton Frumpke moves up to challenge for third place. A little bit of bumping going on there. We stay green. As Everett in the six continues to be your leader, get about a straightaway advantage on the 11 0 Colby Olsen. Keaton Frocky takes a look to the inside, Olsen going into turn three. And makes the pass coming out of turn four. Now, will there be enough laps left for Keaton Frocky to try to run down the six of Colton Everett? Everett was still over a straightaway lead as Jacob Crocker ended up into the infield there for a second. Comes back out on the track and we stay green flag racing. Colby Olsen went off the backside a little bit. Made a nice save in the 11-0. Time is running out for everybody else in the track right now as Colton Everett takes the white flag. One lap to go. In the three and four, coming on up to the checkered flag. Your winner, Colton Everett. Keaton Frumpke is second place in third. Colby Olsen just edged out. 322 of Bryce Haugberg. Oh, hi, Scott. Nice to see you. And a green flag is out. Toby Brassa jumps out to the early lead, but gets loose, and we got him all over the place. As they come through three and four, Jesse Skalicki looking at him over, gives him the green flag, and we are underway. Toby Brasseth gets that good jump again. This time makes it stick as we get go going into th turns three and four. Toby Brasseth will lead in the five cart. Toby Pitts moves into second place. Ashton Speaker now into third place. Jake Potter makes a pass for fourth. Brody, James Peterson and Brody Carlson are battling at the back of the field right now in the 71 and the B1. But Toby Brasseth continues to lead in the five. As right 
there is Brasseth, Pitts, Speaker, Potter, Carlser, and Peterson. Your top six out there on the track right now. Toby Pitts is in the 33, trying to run down the five of Toby Brasseth. There's a lap line down here. Ashton Speaker sitting in third place right now. And the white flag is out right now, and we got trouble in turn three. We'll be on our way here shortly as Brass F continues to lead. Toby Pitts in second place in the 33. Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag, and we are back racing. Green, white, checkered coming up this time. Toby Brass F takes the white flag. One lap to go. Brody Carls are taking a look inside of Potter in the 88 as he come to the line this time. Checker flag out. Toby Brasseth is your winner in the number five with a 33. In second place, Toby Pitts. Third place. Head flag man Jesse Skalicki looks him over right now. Give him some of the green flag and we are underway. Connor Mark Larton slides up the track a little bit out there is the 29 of Ryan Brasseth goes around. And we work work. And Alex Brasseth will be on your front row here. They were door to door for that whole first lap attempt. As it comes through three and four now, green flag waves. We are back racing once again. Alex Brasseth gets a big jump out there in the 88. 14T Tim Estenson right on his back bumper going into turns three and four here. Takes a look to the inside and backs off a little bit. Brass at the 88 continues to be your leader. Battle for third place out there now. Cade Ruiz and Connor Marquardt are going at it. Tim Estenson took a look inside of the 88 out there. Got a little bit crossed up. And now he's going to try to run him back down here once again. Cade Ruiz from the back row all the way up to third place already. Ryan Brasseth now taking a look to the inside of the 11. O'Connor Marquardt makes the pass coming out of turn four. Sets his sights on the 13 W. Ruiz. On the back bumper, looks out to the inside. Going into turn one. Car gets a little loose, gets crossed up there. It's like Friday night in the mods all over again. <laughs> Except no one's yelling at the flag man for something. As the Brass F continues to be your leader in the 88 up front, but Tim Essenson is trying as hard as he can to put the pressure on as the white flag comes out last lap of this race. Coming to the line this time, Brasseth gets a little loose but holds on to it. Alex Brasseth, your winner in the 88, 14T Tim Essenson in second. Ryan Brasseth in third of the 29, Caden Weiss in fourth of the 13W, Connor Marquardt fifth in the 11. And Ryan As they come to three and four, Jesse Skalicki looks them over once again, waves a green flag, and we are back underway here in the stock animal heat race. Good battle so far, they're two by two. Joseph Thomas gets the advantage, they'll come out of turns three and four. That's how they single file out, is Joseph Thomas, Riley Saylor, Ethan Moore, and Landon Backer. Joseph Thomas starting to pull ahead here. It is number seven.
even more putting pressure on the 76 of Riley Saylor. As he's waiting for him to open up on the bottom there, he's just running a little bit higher line, keeping the momentum going. Waiting for one little slip up as he takes a look inside, going into turn three, they make contact. Tons of contact. Ethan Moore moves into second place. But all that does is help Joseph Thomas start to run away with this heat race out here in the yellow number seven. That's just under a straightaway lead right now as the laps wind down. Coming to the line this time. White flag out for Joseph Thomas. One more to go. Coming to the line this time, your heat race winner, number 17, Joseph Thomas. The Red Rocket, number four, Ethan Moore, in second place. After this, we have the Modifieds coming up next. And then we'll get into your feature races here at the Bob Saylor Memorial. Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag, and we are underway. Bruce Everett gets the lead out there, early lead in the 68 cart. Luke Kozowski in second place, Scott Saylor in third. Rick Thompson taking a look on the high side there in fourth place as Luke Kozowski makes a move for the lead. Bruce Everett goes inside, ends up in the infield. After a little bit of contact out there, that moves to 76 of Scott Saylor into second place. It continues to be Kozowski in the 4G, Saylor in the 76, Everett in the 68, Thompson in the green 4, the 323, a hole wigger, rounding out your field. Kozowski now starting to open up a bit of a lead here. Because he has about half a straightaway lead out here in the 4 cart. That's now Rick Thompson looking to the outside of the 68. Can't find anything on that high side out there though. Now Kozowski with a full straightaway advantage in the 4G. Sailor in second place in the 76, Bruce Everett in third. Rick Thompson looking at the high side as the white flag comes out. One more lap to go for the 4G of Luke Kozowski as Jay Holwager throws it in pretty hard into turn one and spins out. Your winner, 4G, Luke Kozowski. At the line, almost too close to call. As they come through three and four, Jesse Sklicki waves the green flag. We are underway. Ken Bjorndahl gets in the lead there. Steven Nader trying the high side there, but Mike Gresseff now moves into second place. A little loose out there going into three. Ken Bjorndahl is now, has Mike Gresseff closing in on that back bumper. Mike Gresseth putting the pressure on the 211, waiting for an opening to happen. Gives him a little bump going into turn one. Right on his back bumper going into turn three. And now he takes a look to the inside, makes a pass going into turn one as there's contact out there. Mike Gresseth though continues to be your leader. Ken Bjorndahl trying to make a run at the back bumper out there. Seminator gets crossed up but continues on in the 29 cart. As your leader that time by Mike Gresseth, Steven Ader goes around and turn three, or turn four out there. We stay green. As now, he pulls out right in front of the 17 of Mike Gresseth. That might slow him down just a little bit here. Steven Ader having some handling issues. But Gresseth takes a look to the inside. Steven Ader pulling him off just a little bit, but Mike gets through going into turn number two. White flag out this time for the 17, Mike Gressa. Coming to the line this time, your winner, the number 17, Mike Gressa. Ken York. Uh, that way.
you recording me? Oh god. Oh good, I was I Ferguson getting ready to do 15 laps of Gold Cart Fury here at the Bob Saylor Memorial. Jesse Skalicki looking him over. As they come out of turn four, he waves the green flag and we are racing. Brady Plants takes the lead going into turn number one. Cody Matchart in the seven in second place. McCoy Ferguson moves into third in the 88. Olivia Mao in the 99 and fourth. And Carson Kazed in the 6K rounding out your field. Olivia Mao going high. Trying to build up some momentum out there. That opens the door for the 6K of Kazed. And now she moves by the 88 of McCoy Ferguson. Making the high side power move out there. Brady Plants already leading another lap here once again. The 24P has the number seven of Cody Matchart right behind him. Matchart in the seven closes in on the back bumper of the 24 of Brady Plants. As they're starting to see lap traffic ahead of them. Matchart now taking a look on the high side, trying to make a power move out there. Carson Kazed moves into fourth place. 
As now Matchard takes a look to the inside and the seven makes the move coming out of turn two. And he will be your new leader. Brady Plants in the 24P is second place. Is now there lapping up to the fourth place cart. Of Carson Kazette as there's contact. Whoa! Jesse Scully gives him the one to go here. We'll be going green next time by. Brady Plants has been tough this race. But Cody Matchart got around him in lap traffic out there. Who will it be? We're trying to get them to line up a little tight here. Do this from a from a dead stop. this time green flag waves we are back racing Brady Plants taking a look on the high side out there and he makes a move around the seven taking the lead going into turns one and two now he stretches that lead as he goes into three and four Brady Plants in the 24p Cody Matchart in the seven Olivia Mal in the 99 and McCoy Ferguson in the 88 Brady Plants has about a straightaway lead now as he gets right into lap traffic again. He makes a move on the high side of the 88 of McCoy Ferguson. It's starting to slow him up a little bit as now the 7 of Match Arc starting to catch up a little bit. It continues to be Brady Plants in the 24, the number seven of Cody Matchart in second place, Olivia Mao in third in the 99, and the 88 of McCoy Ferguson in third in fourth place. Brady Plants with about a half a lap lead. As the white flag comes out one more time around for the 24P of Brady Plants. Cody Matchart gets by the number 88 of McCoy Ferguson. But here is your Bob Saylor Memorial winner in the Novice Ones, the 24P Brady Plants. Second place, the number seven, Cody Matchart. Third place, Olivia Mao in the 99, and McCoy Ferguson rounds out your field in fourth place in the 88. All right, folks, now let's hear it one more time for your novice one winner, the Bob Saylor Memorial. That's 24P, Brady Plants. No, uh, I'm too old for this class. earlier they put the GPS in on the 19 at Cole Gresseth earlier and he was hitting 38.6 miles an hour going into the corners here. We'll see if the speeds go up a little bit here as Jesse Skalicki looks over them as they go through turn three and four. Doesn't like what he sees right there and we'll get another lap.
to get them lined up tight here. One more to go. Green flag this time by. For Gwen Saylor on the pole. And the 24, Jake Haugeberg leading you through turns three and four. Arm is up and the green flag is out. We are underway. Three wide going into turn number one, but Gwen Saylor gets the whole shot in the 76. A pair of 24s, Jake Haugeberg and Tate Magnuson in second and third place. And now the 88 of Andrew Potter moves into third place. The 10 of Brayden got off on the back straight away and he keeps it going. Heck of a save out there in the 10 cart. We stay green right now. Wes Saylor in the lead. Jake Haugenberg in second place, putting a lot of pressure on that back bumper of the 76 cart. We continue on with green flag racing. Wes Saylor holding their line real well out there in the 76. Jake Haugenberg doing everything he can to find an opening. It is Saylor, Haugeberg, Potter, Magnuson, Bernadas from the back all the way up to fifth place right now. Wes Saylor still looking good out there in the lead. As the 19 of Cole Gresseth goes around in turn two and we'll get a caution. Good hustle, Brandon. Brayden Nygaard in the 10. And Cole Gresseth running out your field here. Give him a one to go. This time by, he'll be going green next time. How many laps, Brandon? Seven in. Seven laps out, remember, 15 laps to the distance. 19. Jesse Skalicki looks him over, waves the green flag, and we are back racing. Wes Saylor got a good jump that time, because they're three wide for second, third place out there. Jake Hogger trying to run down the 76 of Gwen Saylor now. As we move past the halfway point of the race. Wes Saylor with about a quarter straightaway lead in the 76 cart. Now Dylan Bernardes making a move on the high side for third place and he makes it sick. Jake Hogerberg trying to chop away at that lead in the 24. And so I'm going to battle for the back of the pack out there. Cole Gresseth moves inside Braden, Braden Nygaard in the 10 and makes the pass. About a two or three cart length lead now for Gwen Saylor. As the laps wind down, who will it be? Will it be Saylor or Hogberg? Hogberg takes a look to the inside. Gwen Saylor pulls ahead though. He takes a look on the outside. As this time, the white flag comes out. One lap to go for Gwen Saylor. Jake Hogberg makes a move on the high side now as they go into turn three. They come into turn four, and your winner, the 24, Jake Hogberg. Second place, Gwen Saylor. Third place, Dylan Bernardes in the 43. 88, Andrew Potter in fourth. Brayden Nygaard in fifth in the 10. The 24, Tate Magnuson in sixth. Colt Gresseth in 19 in seventh, and an eighth, Colin Subdy. Folks, We'll let him hear you now as he comes by. Your Bob Saylor Memorial winner of the Rookie Ones, the 24, Jake Hogberg. I don't know, Go here. 15A, Amelia Eisenshake inside row number two. 7K, Keegan Hauser on the outside of row two. Inside, Layla Eisenshake in the 15L. Outside of her will be the 34, Vince Noble, Riley Goodman in the 75, inside of row four, and the number 10, Caden Kazed, 12, no, Caden Kazed will round out your field.
got last. Hey, what? I don't remember who got last. The arm is up in the air, and the green flag waves. We are underway. And your novice two-class feature race is going. Door-to-door -door battle for the lead. Lexi Frocky now pulls ahead going into turn three. This is Lexi Frocky, Simon Mao, Keegan Hauser, Amelia Eisenshade, Layla Eisenshade. As now, it looks like the seven of Simon Mao got a little slowed up there. Now Layla Eisenshade making a high side move on the seven cart of Simon Mao right now for fourth place. And Layla makes it sick and she moves in the fourth. What? Yes. Lexi Frocky now with a huge lead in the 77X. So Lexi Frocky in the lead. Keegan Hauser in second place. Amelia Eisenshake in third. Layla Eisenshake taking a look on the high side of her sister. Simon Mao in fifth. Vince Noble in sixth. And Riley Goodman rounding out your field. Oh, Caden Kazette in the 12 will be rounding out your field as we have Layla Eisenshake into the infield. She continues on. We stay green. Lexi Frumpy in lap traffic right now as we got one around and the caution will come out. <laughs> nice. Layla Eisenshake in third, Simon Mao in the seven and fourth. 34, Vince Noble in fifth, Riley Goodman in sixth in the 75. The 12 carts out there, Caden Kazed. And running out your field, it will be Keegan Hauser in the 7K as we're going back racing, green flag past the halfway point. Lexi Frump, he sticks it to the bottom and continues to be the leader in the 77X. Amelia and Layla Eisenshake trying to run her down. As Layla Eisenshake gets a little loose coming out of turn four and spins. And we're going to have another caution here. Laps in, five laps to go. Jesse will give him the one to go this time by. We'll go green flag racing next time. If he likes what he sees. They come through three and four. Jesse has his arm up, waves the green flag. We are back racing. Alexi Frocky continues to be the leader in the 77X. With four laps to go now. Amelia Eisenshake trying to catch the back of the 77X of Lexi Frocky. Lexi Frocky keeps the cart down on the bottom out there. Running smooth in the 77X. As the laps wind down, Lexi Frocky still your leader in 77X. Amelia Eisenshank in second place, Simon Mao in third. As the white flag comes up this time, one to go for Lexi Frocky. Amelia Eisenshake gives it everything she's got right now, but the 77X Alexi Frumpke will be your Bob Saylor Memorial winner. Amelia Eisenshake in second place, Simon Mao in third, Vince Noble in fourth in the 34. Bob Saylor Memorial winner in the rookie one class out there. Or, excuse me, now number two is Alexi Frumpke 77X. As the 72 Ty Wilkie will be a scratch.
your pole sitter will be the 22, Bryce Hogberg. Outside, Colton Everett in the six. The 88 of Keaton Franke inside row number two. 11 old Colby Olsen outside. Inside row three, the nine X Dallas were in the third. Jacob Crocker on the 10K outside and rounding up the field with 7 TV, Taryn Backer. And the green flag waves and we are racing. Bryce Hogerberg and Colton Everett right by each other going into turn three right now. Hogerberg comes out of the league, but no, Colton Everett makes a move, makes the crossover work in the sixth. As they start to stretch out now at the line, it's Everett, Haugerberg, Olsen, Frompke, Crogero, and Mar Marin, and Backer. Keaton Frompke and Colby Olsen fighting hard for third place out there. Colby Olsen able to make the move and make, finish the pass off in the 11-0. But Colton Everett still looking strong out there in the lead in the six. Bryce Hogerberg looking to make it two for two for the Hogerberg family in the 22. As Everett in the six got a little loose getting off of turn number two out there. Bryce Hogerberg starting to close in. Starting to get closer to get together, about a two cart length, cart and a half length lead up there forever. The six, he leaves the bottom open, and Bryce Hogerberg pulls up even closer now. Gets high off for turn two as we get into lap traffic now. The six of Everett looking to make a move as he goes into turn three. Terran Backer chops him off just a little bit. Contact out there. And we keep going. Aaron Backer in front of your two leaders out there, Cole Leverett now makes the move going into turn three. Bryce Hogerberg tries to get underneath him and gets, makes the pass cleanly. With less than a cart, in, cart length in between. Everett slides up a little bit. Hogerberg opened up for him out there in the 22. Everett comes off high in the six, and Hogerberg will be your leader now. Keaton Frumpke now moves into second place as a white flag comes up for Bryce Hogelberg in the 22. Coming to the checkered flag, Bryce Hogelberg in the 22 will be your winner. Keaton Frumpke in second place. Jacob Crogero in the 10 and third. Dallas in the fourth, third and fourth. Hello to Kobe Olsen in fifth. Colton Everett in sixth and tearing back around and out your field. Let him hear you. Your Bob Saylor Memorial winner in the 22. Out there, the local option, blue slide, 206 class. That is Bryce Hogberg. Side row two is Jake Potter outside of him, the 32, to 33 Toby Pitts, B1 Brody. Carl's route inside row three. The 71 of James Peterson outside of row three. And Jack Griffiths rounding out your field in the 2J. Ashton Speaker and Toby Pitts lead them into turn three right now as we are about to go green. Jesse Skokie waves the green flag and we are racing. Toby Brasseth gets the jump out there, but Ashton Speaker on the inside as James Peterson goes around in turn two. He continues on, but we stay green. Toby Brasseth left the bottom open, and now Ashton Speaker makes the pass in the flying deuce. And Ashton Speaker will lead this lap here once again. It is Speaker, Brasseth, and Pitts here, top three, with Carlsruhe, Potter, Griffiths behind them. Because now they're already in a lap traffic out there the 71 of James Peterson. Ashton Speaker looking to find a spot, an opening right now to make that move. As now Toby Brasseth makes a, makes a look in the inside there. Go 
Going into turn three. We got one around coming out of turn two. We stay green. That's how Ashton Speaker shuffled back to third place, but he takes a look inside of Toby Pitts for second. Toby Brasseth is your leader. He gets high coming off of turn four. Gathers it back into We Stay Green. At the line this time is Brasseth, Pitts, Speaker, Carlsrud, Griffiths. In fourth place will be the 88 of Potter. And shotgun on the field right now, the 71 of James Peterson. That's not Toby Brasseth. Catches up to the back of the 88 cart of Potter. Potter gets a little loose. That opens the door going into turn three a little bit for the five of Brasseth. As Potter comes off, makes a nice save in the 88. Toby Pitts gets a little high coming off of turn two. That's now Brasseth again. Gets high, so does Potter. This can open the door, folks. This race isn't over yet. As the last line down, Brasseth still your leader with Toby Pitts in second place. Ashton Speaker a close third as... And also Brody Carlsrud in fourth place within striking distance if something should happen. And a one lap to go as Brasseth gets high. White flag is out. Toby Pitts right on his back bumper. Contact as they go into turn three. Your winner in the five will be Toby Brasseth. 33 Toby Pitts in second place. Ashton Speaker in third in the Flying Deuce. Brody Carlsrud in fourth. Jack Griffiths in fifth place. Andrew Potter is sixth in the 88 and James Peterson rounding out your field in the 71. All right, folks, let them hear you. Your winner here in the Rookie 2 class, number five, Toby Brasseth. Jesse Skalicki gives him the one to go this time by. Coming out of green, we're coming on turn four, green flag waves, we are racing. 14 T Tim Essenson on the inside gets the jump out there. He has the brass at boys right behind him. Ryan Brasseth takes a look to the inside of the 29. Tons of contact out there. That allows the 11 of Connor Marquardt and the 88 of Alex Brasseth to start challenging for the lead as we are door to door all the way through this field. Connor Marquardt now gains the lead. As we get them all single file now, Brasseth in the 88 gets a run on the high side out there, tries to make it stick. But that opens the door for the 14T, Tim Essenson, all over the back bumper of the 88 of Alex Brasseth. Tim Essenson takes a look inside again, backs off going into turn one. Outside of him, though, the 29er, Ryan Brasseth, makes a move out there. Cannot make the pass work, though. Connor Markworth gets a little bit loose out there. Is it right on their bumper now? Alex Brasset takes a look inside of turn one. A little bit of contact there as he makes the pass. Coming out of turn four this time, Alex Brasset. Now Ryan Brasset taking a look to the inside of Connor Marquardt. He moves into second place and now the 11 goes off the track and spins it out. Marquardt, round it out your field. Eight laps in, seven laps to go. Jesse Skalicki waves the green flag and we are back racing. Which Brass F brother will make it two for two for the Brass F family? Alex gets a little high. Ryan took a look on the inside, but not better of it. Tim Essis there waiting there in third place to see if he can get in, find an opening. Ooh, what was that? Tires? 
Alex Brasset continues to be a leader. 14 T. Tim Essenson now moves inside, trying to make a pass to second place. Oh, that thing gets tight. Tim Essenson moves now into second place. Can he run down the 88 of Alex Brasset, though? Brasset running smoothly out there in the 88. As this time by, white flag, one to go for Alex Brassa. That's trouble going out there in turn three and four. Checkered flag waves, your winner will be Alex Brassa in the, tw in the 88. Ryan Brassa got in the second in the 29. Tim Essenson in third place, 14 T. 13 WK and Weiss follows him, folks. Give him a round of applause for the local option 206 class year winner, Alex Brasseth in the 88. <laughs> Joseph Thomas, the 7T inside row two, and Landon Becker running on your field in the 43B. This is your stock animal 15 lap feature race. All that's doing is just scuffing your tires, isn't it? Green flag. Number four, Ethan Moore takes the lead going into turn one. Landon Backer got a good start in the 43B, but now Joseph Thomas takes a look to the inside of him. As it'll be Moore, Thomas, Backer, and Sailor, your top four. Ethan Moore leads this time by again. Joseph Thomas trying to run him down in the seven. At the line this time again, it's Moore, Thomas, Backer, and Saylor. No change this time, but Riley Saylor now taking a look at the back of the 43B of Landon Backer. Looking for an opening for third place out there. And now Ethan Moore's lead in the fourth is starting to get a little bit smaller as Joseph Thomas is starting to run him down now. Joseph Thomas drives it in deep in the seven and he's starting to close in on the back of the number four Ethan Moore. He's now the back bumper out there. Can he make a move? Good battle up at the front as well as a good battle for third place out there. Landon Backer and Riley Saylor in the 76. Joseph Thomas now just looking for an opening as he is right on that back bumper of Ethan Moore in the number four. Landon Backer in third and Riley Saylor on his back bumper in the 76. That's how there's an opening on the inside. Joseph Thomas puts his nose in as the laps wind down here. Just inches off the back bumper of Ethan Moore in the number four. As they charge into turn one, Joseph Thomas just looking, at, looking for an opening. Almost had one going into turn three. So white flag is out this time for Ethan Moore in the number four. Coming out of turn four right now, though Joseph Thomas gets it a little hot and spins. Ethan Moore will be your winner in the number four. Second place, Joseph Thomas in the 17, 43B Landon Backer in third place and Riley Saylor in fourth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your winner in the number four of the Bob Saylor Memorial. The number four of the Red Rocket, Ethan Moore. Your stock adult class looks like this. On the 4G, Luke Kozowski inside, row two outside of him, the 323, Jay Holwinger, and running off the field, Bruce Everett in the 68. Go. 15 laps the distance once again, ladies and gentlemen, as we go one more time around, we're going to go green flag racing next time by.
As we get them lined up tight, you're gonna hear those motors get wound up even tighter here as they come through three and four. Green flag. Rick Thompson jumps out to the early lead. Scott Saylor takes a look to the inside. But Rick Thompson will stretch it out here as he leads lap number one. Rick Thompson in first place, Scott Saylor in second, Luke Kozowski in third place. As he takes a look now inside of Scott Saylor for second, Bruce Everett in fourth in the 68. Luke Kozowski now making a move in the inside. A little bit of bumping going on there as Luke Kozowski moves into second place. Round out your field, 323. Jay Holbecker making a move on the high side and he goes off for turn four. Sparks flying and everything. He keeps it straight, and we stay green. Rick Thompson now stretches that lead out as Luke Kozowski's trying to catch him. It's a battle of fours up front. Kozowski looking like he's starting. He gets a little loose so off of that corner as it looked like he was starting to chop away at that lead of the number four, Rick Thompson. Rick Thompson, your leader. Second place, of course, Luke Kozowski in the 4G. Scott Saylor, third place to 76. 68, Bruce Everett in fourth. And Jay Holweger in fifth in the 323. As the laps wind down, Rick Thompson still your leader of the four. Rick Thompson again, your leader's last line down here. Rick Thompson in the green 4-4G out there. Luke Kosowski, Scott Saylor the 76, Bruce Everett the 68, and Jay Holwinger in the 323. Jay Holwinger gets way loose coming out of turn four as the white flag is up for Rick Thompson in the green number four. Coming to the line this time, your Bob Saylor Memorial winner in the adult stock class will be the number four, Rick Thompson. Luke Kozowski, the 4G in second place. Scott Saylor in third in the 76. The 68, Bruce Everett in fourth. And running up the field, the 323, Jay Holwiger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our oldest member of the car club right now has showed up tonight. Your winner in the adult class, Stock adults. That is Rick Thompson. And runs on the field in the 29. <laughs> Takes a run. Back to racing now. Green flag. A little bit of contact up front there right now as Bucky Grasseff in the 17 takes the lead going into turn three. Ken Gordahl goes right back up on his back bumper in second place in the 211. The Stevenator in third place waiting for something to happen out there. Waiting for a chance to make his move. Gordahl taking a lower line coming out of the corner right there. As now Bucky Grasseff in the 17 pulls away. So Folks, like I said earlier, Mike Gressif was doing laps and getting a speed of about 40, just a little under 49 miles an hour the first time around here for the 17 cart. He continues to be your leader in the 17, but Ken Gordahl's not letting him get too far ahead of him. Stevenator in third place, trying to reel everyone back in. Mike Gresses, still your leader right now as the laps wind down. 211, Ken Gordahl in second place in the Stevenator in third. S trouble for the Stevenator, he goes around and up on two wheels. And we will get a caution as we are 10 laps, nine laps in, uh, Jesse Skalicki waves a green flag. We are back racing. 
six laps to go for Mike Gresset in the 17. Ken Bjorndal in the 211 is second place, driving it in deep, trying to let, not let Mike Gresset get away from him. Stevenator in third place, trying to rebound from bicycling just a second ago. Mike Ressa, still your leader, dirt tracking at around the bottom, catfishing along the discs in the inside. As the laps wind down, Mike Ressa, still your leader. This time by, Mike Gresseth will get the white flag, one lap to go. Coming to the line this time, your winner of the Bob Sailor Memorial Adult Open Class, Mike Gresseth. 211, Ken Gordahl in second place, and the Stevenator in third. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your winner, the Bob Saylor Memorial in the Adult Open Class of Modifies, Mike Griseth.